Hey guys, it's Kristen with Southern Mom. If you're looking for something that's gonna help you control or monitor your kids' screen time, I think I have the solution for you. Some of you may know that I have a 10 year old son and twins that are six years old and we are definitely a technology family. My girls have had iPads since they were, I wanna say three or four. Both my girls and Braxton are to the age now that they are pretty smart and savvy with their iPads and their iPhones. And by the way, anytime I show their iPads, I always get questions about their covers, these little princess uh, crown covers. I'll try to find them on Amazon. That's where I got these if I can't find the exact ones, I'll try to find you guys something similar, but they have held up very well. I mean, as you see, these iPads have lasted like three years, no cracks or anything. So anyways, the girls are really savvy now, and so is Braxton with their iPads and their iPhones. Before installing this app that I'm gonna be telling you about, uh, the girls somehow figured out how to go into the app store and download apps. Kids have no idea if they're purchasing something that costs money, what they're purchasing. So up until a month ago, their iPads have not been controlled other than the fact that usually they're on them when they are around me. Now Braxton, in the past, I did have a, another service that I used to monitor his Android, but when we switched him over to an iPhone, I wasn't thinking, I had no idea that the previous service that I was using didn't support um, Apple and iPads and I was no longer to, able to even use that. So I had a company called Kids Locks reach out to me and I was ecstatic because I was actually on the hunt for another service similar to the previous company that would actually work on Apple as well. Not only did it work with Apple, but it, the user interface and just the, the way it works is so much easier than the one that I was using before. I haven't come across any kind of bugs or anything like that. It's super simple to use, but it does everything I need it to do and more. So Kids Logs is an app that you just download from the app store. It looks like this with a little lock on it. It was easy breezy to set up all three of my kids' devices. So currently I have Braxton's iPhone set up and then also the girls um, have iPads. I have some really exciting news I'm gonna be giving away from this video two six month plans for two of the viewers of this video. I'm gonna have all of the details down below in the description, so definitely go check that out. It's super easy to enter this giveaway, and I'm so grateful to Kids Locks for giving me the opportunity to give you guys a six month subscription. So, but they do have different plans. They have a lifetime plan, which is what they gave me for checking this out. And so let's get down to the fun stuff. I'm gonna click on Braxton's iPhone. Uh, there's a parent mode, a child mode, and a lockdown mode. When you're in child mode, that means all of the restrictions and the daily limits and the schedules are in place. So everything I have set up for his phone is active. When I click on lockdown mode, that is locking down his phone. He will no longer be able to get on the internet or um, any of his apps or anything like that. Shutting it off, Braxton. Why, Mama? <laughs> Mama turned it off. Oh. And for the girls, it's really nice because they are upstairs. We live in a two-story house. So if I'm in my bedroom and I realize, oh, the girls have their iPads in their room, I must have forgotten to take it away from them. All I have to do is push this button in lockdown mode and, and it's gonna shut down. They won't be able to do anything on their iPads. So um, when mama's clicked lockdown, you you know it, you can hear them. Oh, <laughs> what happened to the internet? Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the restrictions uh, section. When their phone is set into child mode only, this is the restrictions that um, take place. So I have his entertainment unlocked. Uh, that's how he listens to like some of his music. Entertainment section, you can lock it or unlock it. That's gonna be like Spotify or Musical.ly, things like that. Uh, games, Roblox, you can lock it or unlock the game. Lifestyle, other, let's see, social. Uh, web browsers, I always have Safari on lockdown. Uh, content blocked by Kids Locks. This is basically a blacklist of your URLs that 
is updated weekly and blocks over a million sites containing uh, adult gambling, games, chats, forums, hacking, drugs, violence, any of that kind of stuff. So this is Kids Lock's way of, I always make sure that I have that on because I know that they're trying, they're, they're gonna try their best to make sure that um, the internet browser is blocking all that. I have it on, but I have the web browser off, so I really don't know. I guess if for whatever reason I do give my son access to Safari, um, or if you're gonna give, maybe you have an older child and you want to give them access to Safari, but you want to make sure that they're not seeing things that they shouldn't, it's really nice that Kids Lock has most of those sites under control and blocked from your child's Safari. Also, content blocked by you. You can add specific URLs. I'm not personally using that right now because I just turn off Safari, but if, you, like I said, that's something, another thing that if you wanna go beyond what Kids Locks has already blocked on Safari, you can add your own URLs to make sure that they can't go to certain websites. The App Store is locked on all of my kids' iPads and iPhones. If you have a child, I suggest doing it. Um, that and then the in-app purchases, that's locked. Basically, if they need to purchase an app, they need to come to me and I'll do it myself. Um, there's definitely been times, like I said, that I didn't have this app and all of them at some point have purchased or downloaded for free apps without my permission and I wasn't happy about it. So I love, 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 I love this feature that I'm able to block the app store. That is not something with the previous company I was using, um, that was not something that you were able to do. And so I'm really excited and have been loving the fact that none of them can go to the app store. Uh, I've got the game center blocked. Not even really sure what that is. Uh, camera and Siri I have unlocked. All right, so now daily limits. I love this section. So currently I have um, two hour, this is Braxton's. So currently I have it on um, the, the limit being two hours during the week and three hours on the weekends. Um, but I do find myself occasionally um, adjusting that. So it just kind of depends. They rarely ever go over these time limits. Just know that that's an option and that's available for you. Um, but I do know my son sometimes uses his iPad to listen to music and things like that. So um, occasionally I will extend the amount of time on there for him. Okay, and so they also have this really handy section called schedule so that you don't have to worry about going in and manually clicking shut down. They have a bedtime. If your kid's bedtime is eight o'clock and you want them to start getting ready for bed by seven, I have mine set up to shut down at seven o'clock. So um, at seven o'clock, they need to be brushing their teeth and getting little books ready. I want them to read to at least two books in their bed before they go to sleep um, if they haven't already, if they haven't read any books prior to that. And, and then you can set it for what time you want it to unlock the next morning. So that's really cool. So I've really, really enjoyed using this app. Children thrive on schedules and just kind of knowing their limit. If you tell your children the limits up front, you are only allowed to get on your iPad one hour a day. That's the rules. You will not get on your iPad or your phone after seven o'clock. That's the rules. And the fact that it just kind of does it manually and they already know it's going to happen, I feel like it makes you kind of less the bad guy. They're not having to say, okay, hand it over. You know, Braxton, hand me your phone. It's time to put it away. You don't really have to feel like you're the bad guy. It just happens and they know it's gonna happen. It's just kind of part of the routine if, they, if they're on it. And like I said, my kids aren't on it all the time or anything like that, but if they are and it does shut down on them, they know that's just the rules and they're okay with it because they know that's just kind of part of our daily routine. I've told them that they should be using that their extra time to be playing outside, and go outside and play basketball, go 
jump on the trampoline. Technology can be great, but there there's definitely needs to be a limit. And I, I know I told you a little over a month ago that I was gonna be trying this app out. And if you follow me on Instagram, you got a little sneak peek and I occasionally have showed you this app. And if so, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm Southern Mom TX. So definitely go follow me. I'm pretty sure that's one of like the two or three things I ask you to do to join the giveaway. If this video helped you at all in any way, I'd really appreciate you give me a thumbs up down below. It helps me. Um, it helps my videos get seen. So I hope this was really helpful for you guys. I highly, highly suggest, like I said, if you have children that have an iPhone, I know Kids Locks is able to monitor different platforms. So not only Apple, but Android. Again, I'll leave the link down below that'll give you more details to that. So again, thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye guys.